holy shit guys, it fucking happened. We finally got a global launch date for Throne and Liberty. It's going to be September the 17th and as a little bonus, already on July the 18th, we are getting an open beta. Like I am so hyped, I am so glad it finally happened and all the polishing and the great add-ons that they put on the Korean server are now at a stage where they want to go and test it in the open beta and then go for the global launch. I think it's really great that they have a big enough gap to fix like uh, minor things between the open beta and the global launch. So if anything comes up, I think they have about enough time to fix it. And yeah, I already turned in two weeks of vacation. So when the global launch hits, we're going to be grinding like crazy. I'm going to be streaming eight to 12 hours a day. So I'm really pumped. Let's go and read through the announcements that they're having here in addition. Um, maybe important to note is that it's not only on PC. Um, the um, console versions on which they were working on really hard in Korea are also now ready. And I guess this was also the reason of the drawback because they wanted to have um, the release for all platforms at the same time to have like the biggest hype. Um, also fairly nice, it's not a short open beta where you only have like one or two days and um, you're, you're like a bit limited. It's actually five days and in five days, um, depending on how far they're letting the players play, you can actually get to a max level and enjoy some of the dungeons and stuff. So players can actually give like a qualified feedback. Unforgettable adventure at Zordism. Strong Liberty invites players to immerse themselves in the ripened and dynamic world of Solisium. This free-to-play game focuses on epic battles between guilds, allowing players to engage in contests against tens or even thousands of opponents and fantastic creatures. Quick and strategic decision-making will be crucial as every choice will affect the gameplay experience. Like, that's something my, some people might forget. It's actually a free-to-play game, and I think for a free-to-play game, it looks fantastic. They have added lots of um, options to give a great PvP experience. The newest thing they have added is actually the option to let guilds fight against each other cross server. So we will not have like um, like specific servers where one guild can dominate everything and they are the king. You actually have to compete with the whole world to become the king in the game. Like I really like that. Really nice. Innovation and nostalgia and perfect harmony. Throne and Liberty combines the essence of classic MMORPGs with innovative gameplay elements. Players can customize their combat style by choosing two weapons or transform into land, sea and air creatures to explore the vast world of Solisium. They can even temporarily become defeated bosses during the tide of battle in their favor. The class system they have introduced is fairly interesting and quite unique to games. So basically, instead of choosing a class and being stuck with that, maybe having to level a new character to switch, you are basically getting your skills and your passives by equipping two weapons. And there's a bunch of weapons, you can equip them in different combinations, which opens a wide variety of classes. And of course, you can change at any time. So it's really player friendly. And I think it's a good way for casuals that maybe don't have the time to level 10 characters to max level to enjoy all the classes. A vast and dynamic world. Zolysium is the world full of diversity where players will meet a diverse cast of characters and visit imposing castles, bustling cities, ancient temples, arid deserts and lush forests. Zolysium's changing weather and climate reveal limited content and affect combat abilities. The transition from day to night adds an additional challenge, changing the enemies and quests available. So. What is happening here is quite interesting. There is actually skills that, for example, deal more damage at night than at day. Or like at day, they would, for example, stun and at night they would slow, stuff like that. So day and night has influence, especially sometimes on PvP. There's builds that are really, really OP at night, but are not that good at day. So it's really interesting. Um, and don't worry, you can save all your builds and just exchange them with one click. So it's not an issue to have multiple builds right here. Open beta preparations. As the open beta date approaches, Amazon Games and NCSoft will share more details about Throne and Liberty's features and content. 
Interested players can visit the gameplay page to discover the weapons and activities that will be part of their arsenal. Join the battle, gather your guild and prepare to claim the throne and liberty. The adventure of lifetime awaits you on Solisium. Now we got a nice trailer, so let's react to it. Long ago, the star of Silveth shattered. Its fragments spread across the land. Granting it graphic is just fantastic. To a lucky few. There is light. There is also darkness. Malevolent forces have arisen, seeking to claim the power of the stars for themselves. You must harness this celestial power. Fight back against the Archeum Legion and free our world. Silesium is a vast, living, breathing open world with diverse environments to explore and deadly enemies to defeat. Shapeshift into legendary creatures to carry you through the air and over the waves. Push back against the Legion in tactical combat across a seamless world. Take up arms and join others as you fight alongside fellow guild members. As your skill grows, you'll unlock powerful new abilities. Adjust your fighting style to counter your enemies. Use ranged attacks to draw your enemies in. Then swap to hard-hitting melee to finish them off. The Legion isn't the only enemy you'll need to fight. Battle other players in PvP dungeons. Player-controlled castle sieges. Open world combat. And conquest battles for territory. Gather your guild. Prepare for battle. And claim the throne. Really, really nice trailer for the open beta. If you have actually any questions about what you've seen, for me, basically everything in the trailer was familiar. I've been playing for a lot, many months in the Korean version. I've reached the end game. My character is clacked, is decked. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I can answer you basically everything about the game. Yeah, and that's it. Um, keep updated. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be pumping out a shit ton of Throne and Liberty content. I already have a full walkthrough prepared with um, everything where you can get stuck in quest, storyline or whatever. Everything that's hard is already prepared and I will release it on launch day. Cheers guys. Uh -huh.